So coming in at number 12, I think, is obviously Disco Chomper. Now, I, there's not much to say. It's the fact he's a chomper, just, and he's a chomper. So I immediately, I immediately have bias against him. But the thing is, you fill his disco meter by eating people, which, by the way, in real multiplayer lobbies can get kind of difficult with how much people bum, so you be suicide chomping. <coughs> but... He, of course, can, he is a chomper, so he's got Spike Lee, Burrow, and Goop, so he can counter SBs and other characters. But again, engineers still completely cripple him. But yeah, that's not much to say, so, so number 12 is Disco Chomper, I think. Number 11, again, I think, is Party Rose. Now, I know the roses are good. I, I Trust me, I do love me some Neck Rose and some Rega Rose. But, come on. I just, like, I, I don't like how roses play. It's same with cacti. I don't like how they play. I like sticking my gun up people's asses and pulling the trigger. Not staying in the back and shooting them in the face. No, that's not how I play. But, it, uh, of course, since she is a rose, she doesn't, uh, you don't have to aim with her at all. She's got Time Snare, she's got Godify and Arcane Enigma. You just gotta stay in the back to win. Um, yeah, she's, she, she's better than, um... Fire and Neck, no, not Neck, Fire and Ice, she's better than Fire and Ice Rose, I'd say she's better than Druid Rose, but she's not near as good as, um, Reg or Neck. So yeah, I think number 11 is Party Rose. Number 10, again, I believe it's 12 Legends, but number 10 is Party Man, not Party Man, Party Brains. This dude is basically just regular Super Brains, but add a meter onto him. And that's it. So he's and he's good. He's really good at close range. Completely is completely crippled by chompers though. He's got he's got ultra ball, turbo twister, useless, and hero kicks. So yeah, that's good. That's all I have to say about him. Number ten is party brains. Number nine, surprisingly, is the Scallywag Imp. I do love this character. He is underrated as all hell. But again, keep in mind these are legends, so they're all at least high tier, including um, Scally. For some reason, people just hate this character. I don't know if it's they see fours and think that he does more fours than you know forties. Like no, this character hits up to forty-four damage, and I don't even have the damage upgrade for him yet. <coughs> if he gets one, he so he's got all the normal um you know imp imp abilities. He's got gravity and Imkata. His mech is amazing though. A pirate mech. Uh, it's it's basically a chemist imp and pirate hybrid. So the chemist, it's it's basically a pirate. It's basically a deadbeard with um, mech abilities. That's it. Yeah, it can shoot far, has a shotgun, and has you know steroid kata and all that. But be again, being an imp, he has low hit points. But number nine is Scally. number eight. I hate to do it, but is party imp. Now I do think Scally has um, an advantage in damage output. Like, to be honest, he can drop people pretty fast. But Party Imp is not far behind. Again, he's basically just regular Imp, but better. Has a meter. <coughs> but once you get Party Time, like, his damage output is way higher than any other Imp besides Z7. And, um, yeah, 9 damage. Yeah, he yeah his mech is just a regular uh, mech, except, you know, get some awesome tunes with it. So, yeah. Number 8 is Party Imp. Now, this is where I would rank Party Man, number 7. Uh, I had to deal with uh, someone who talks shit, so yeah. just to, yeah. I think number 7 would be Party Man, because I love Deadbeard. Honestly, Deadbeard is one of the single most underrated characters in this game. People, he, people think he's good, but he don't realize quite how good he is. Let's see. So, this character is basically just Deadbeard, so 37 damage, shotgun, or 38. About 30 with, um... Uh, the, uh, sniper, he's got the barrel, the cannon, and the parrot, and party time, I never got party time with party man yet, but all I know is it's probably gonna do some sickening damage output, so yeah, this is where I would rank, uh, party man at number seven, since he's just an upgrade of one of my, uh, all-time favorite characters, Cat, uh, Deadbeard, yeah, this is where I would rank him, number seven is Captain Party Man, number six is Party Citron, uh, I have changed my mind about this character a little bit. I uh, don't get me wrong. I still think he's absolutely disgusting. Like this character is insanely good. 
Like, he's, again, just Citron with a meter, but Citron is already high tier, so this character is top tier. But I do think there are five legends, who, legendary characters who are better than him. But, you know, he, he's a Citron. He's a hit-and-run character. He does his job as good as Iron... Like, I used to think he was as good as Iron Citron, but I think he just does his job better than any other Citron besides Iron Citron. Yeah, there's not much else to say about him. He's got all the normal Citron abilities, and, you know... So, uh, yeah. Also, you move fast as shit in party time. Number, uh, five is Commando Corn. I do think this character doesn't get enough recognition. Now, people think he's good, obviously, but, again, I just don't see many people talking about him. At least not anymore. So, this character is a corn, but put Splash and a 40. He's basically the Scallywag Imp of corns. He has a bit of Splash. He does up to 40 damage, and of course he's got Husk Hop and Shuck Shot, and the uh, Air Strike. So what you have is a very, very good corn, but not the best corn, because obviously Party Corn will always hold that spot. But this guy, this guy is the, as close of a second as you get. Um, I do think he's better than normal Colonel Corn. He's nowhere near Party Corn, because of that meter with Party Corn. But, yeah, this character is really good. Uh, but, can I just mention something? The full Commando soundtrack, it's really good. It's so good. I love listening to that music. Uh, that piece of music when you get full Commando. But anyways, <clears throat> number five is the Commando Corn. That imp just got fucked up. So number four, surprisingly, is the Toxic Brains. The Toxic Brains. Yeah, not just Toxic Brains. The Toxic Brains. This dude is insane. Uh, just, um, so his damage output isn't really good after, like, once, um, before Toxic Overload. Once you get Toxic Overload, though, 30, 60, 90, that's, that, that, that's 180 damage with one, one combo. It's insane. Uh, I know a lot of people think this guy's the best, but I don't think he's the best. There are three legends better than him. <laughs> So number three is Party Corn. I just I may have a little bias because corns are my main men. That sounds so gay, <laughs> but I love Party Corn. He's basically just Colonel Corn, but take at an add a meter. So you what you have is a character who really shouldn't be as good as he is, but this dude is insane. I'm I'm talking insane. But, again, he is a corn, so he's, like, he's quite slow. But number three is Party Corn. Number two is the Computer Scientist. And there, I shouldn't really have to explain this guy. But for, tho for those who don't understand, uh, he is a scientist, so he can heal himself. He has warp. He has seven shots, 50 shots, 50 uh, damage for each shot. Crunch mode, you know, you might have a hard time seeing, but 63 damage per shot. He reloads pretty much instantly. And he is a scientist, so he's quite fast, but, again, he has 100 health, so he could die really fast, but, again, you can heal yourself. Now, <coughs> again, so he is a scientist, so he does die kind of fast, but that doesn't take away from the fact that his damage output is just stupid. Stupid is stupid. Uh, but there can only be one true legend. It's Iron Citron. Now, I, again, shouldn't have to explain why this guy is the best. Uh, let's just say he has 250 hit points. He has Mood Shield. Or, Shield. He has EMP. He's a hidden run character. 50 damage per shot. With two reload upgrades, you're shooting really fast. 50 damage for each shot. Iron Mode, you get five of those shots. And you move fast as shit. So, I shouldn't really have to explain much more than that. This character is just insane. One of my, fa one of my favorites, if not my favorite. But anyways, that was my rankings. Uh, feel free to disagree. So no Halloween special, but I did think I would make a uh, Legends tier list because I do like Legends. But anyways, um, <coughs> sorry for my horrendous upload schedule. Just haven't been getting around to making any any uh, videos. But but <coughs> I do plan on doing a special characters tier list. Y'all are probably going to rage in the comments of how, about, of how I put three characters above Toxic Brains, because some people think Cosmic, or er, Toxic Brains, not Cosmic. Cosmic can just get in my trash can. But, uh, yeah, some people think Toxic Brains is the best in the game. I personally don't think he's the best in the game. I think there are probably about 11 characters who are better than him. 
and I can I I I, I don't want to name them off because I stutter. Anyways, that's not a good excuse. But anyways, yeah, y'all can disagree or agree with anything you want because we all have opinions. Like some may think that Disco Chomper is the best legend. No, yeah, no, it's not. But anyways, uh, happy Halloween, and I hope you get a lot of candy during trick-or-treating if you're gone, so see y'all later.